guys, welcome to Honestly English. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today I'm going to explain five horse-related idioms and tell you about a super cool TV show that you probably have never heard of. Before we get to that, guys, I want to tell you the exciting news. I am close to finishing the first unit of my mini course all about how to swear like a native. History, common uses, how natives use these phrases today. The first unit is about the F word. You also get um, scripts to scenes from movies using these words that natives commonly quote, and of course, a vocab quiz. So guys, if you're not a member, sign up because they're going to get the first unit for free this weekend. And of course you get audio lessons, transcripts, and quizzes from me every week. So go to honestlyenglish.com and sign up before this weekend. Okay guys, so horses. You'll, okay, I'm explaining, I am explaining the horse idioms. I stumbled there um, because I'm into this super cool new TV show that I'll tell you about at the end, but not because I love horses. I don't know. I know that I know girls growing up love horses sometimes. I know people that did, but I was never into horses. I was into like soccer and books. I don't know. <laughs> I was a dork. So let's get to it. The first idiom is hold your horses. I say this all the time, especially to James. All it means is to wait and be patient, right? I mean, he's eight, right? That's him in the pictures behind me. Um, so like, he's like, mommy, when are we going to get there? Mommy, when can we do this? Mommy. And so I'm like, slow down. Hold your horses, man. We'll get to it. So I think this is the one that I say the most. And it's actually super old. It's from 800 BC. You, it is found in a line from Homer's Iliad, right? Famous old poem, epic poem, um, where he says, um, what does he say? You drive like a maniac, hold your horses. So in that day and age, they actually like used horses and carriages to drive, so it makes sense. But that phrase stayed in our language, meaning like slow down and be patient. Anyway, it's interesting. So the next phrase is um, horse shit. Bad word, I can't say it on YouTube. So this is um, the less common form of telling someone that you think they're lying, right? So normally we say bullshit, but some people do say horse if they think somebody is lying. So that just means a lie. The next phrase is don't look a gift horse in the mouth. This is, I know it's super long, but we say the whole thing and we say it. So this means like, if you come into some good fortune or if something good happens to you, don't overanalyze and don't ask too many questions. That's what this phrase means. So it's like, if someone gives you a compliment, right? Just, just take the compliment. Just feel good about yourself. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth and start overanalyzing and think like, Oh, the only reason they said something good to me is because they want something from me or whatever, right? So this is a good phrase. Don't look a, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now, the next one, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I say that because like, I'm never just hungry, I'm always starving. Like I always need food immediately. So I say that one a lot. And the next phrase, this is interesting, to be on a high horse. So the most common way we use this is to say, get off your high horse, or he's on his high horse about. So to be on a high horse means that you are acting superior to people around you, right? So um, if there's a person who like, is in the conversation and the person is like, well, I know everything about such and such because I did this and I know that. And you could just be like, dude, get off your high horse. You don't know everything. <laughs> so yeah, we do say that. It's weird, but we do say that. Guys, I would love to see your um, attempts at using this vocabulary. You have to use it right away or else you won't remember. So in the comment section below, please choose one of today's idioms and use it in a sentence and I will comment and tell you if you're using it correctly. Also guys, remember, don't miss out on the free first unit of my new mini course. Sign up to be an honest member. Go to honestlyenglish.com. Now, pop culture R and R. Okay, so I got a message from Spotify that said, because I'm a subscriber, I get a free Hulu subscription now. I don't know, they're doing a deal. And I was like, okay. I did not look that gift horse in the mouth. I signed up right away. Free, yay free. And I was so stoked because 
there's a TV show on Hulu um, that I've been wanting to see forever, but I couldn't because it's on cable. It's called Baskets, okay? It was co-created by Zach Galifianakis, Louis C.K., and Jonathan Crisell, who helps write and direct um, Portlandia. So, funny, awesome, fantastic. Now, Zach Galifianakis also stars in it. He uh, has a dual role. He plays twin brothers, Chip and Dale Baskets. Get it? Chip and Dale? Anyway. Um, and so Chip Baskets, he, all he wants to do is be a clown. And he is having a rough go of things in life. And he works at a rodeo as a clown. So that's why I was thinking about horses, because he works at a rodeo. See? It all comes together. Um, yeah, it's, it's hilarious, and, but it's also a drama. Um, it's amazing. So, yes, it was co-created by Louis C.K., but um, they created this in 2016. And then in 2017, when Louis C.K. was accused, uh, well, he admitted to sexually harassing several women, he is not involved in the show anymore. <laughs> Needless to say, he's gone. So don't feel bad about watching it. Does not involve Louis C.K. anymore. Anyway, it's in its fourth season on FX, and the first two seasons are on Hulu. So I highly recommend this show called Baskets. Okay, everyone, I'll put a scene or a trailer for this series on the on my website for the blog for this video. Oh, I feel like I'm talking fast today because there's so much I want to say. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Share and like and subscribe. Okay, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.